Hey everyone, it's Alejandro from Lodo Plays, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode. In the last episode, we had finished exploring the south part of the map for the remaining few bobbleheads that I really wanted, and we also started the Vault Tech DLC, which I think is Vault 88, and I would have, I know I said last time, I believe, that I was going to continue with this Vault Tech DLC right now, but looking at my, you know, conditions, I mean, I'm sick, I'm under the influence of right away still, I mean, I have lots of rads, I'm carrying a lot. I think we're just going to have to come back and do this another time, because I know that there's um, a story or at least some missions that go along with this, and if there's going to be enemies also, because I need to help myself and I need to get more ammo, because I'm running dangerously low on ammo. So I think for this part, I'm going to just first head home. All right, finally making it back to Hangman's Alley as I shamble in half dead. Actually, more than half dead, technically. I took a little bit of a detour by trying to explore that place that I was in, the very irradiated quarry or whatever it is, and it didn't go so well, but I got a, a little bit of ammo, but I think I'm probably going to need to buy some, so I don't know, we'll see, but for now I'm going to get make some preparations for what I want to do next. All right, so we're back after doing a few things that I need to do to prepare for, I guess, what I'm about to do next, like uh, grabbing ammo, and there's actually one other thing that I did that I'm going to show off in just a minute, but... First, let's go over some of these new things that I want to do before we leave Hangman's Alley because we had picked up some, I guess, we picked up that uh, revolver, the Western Revolver, and I kind of wanted to see how good that was. And also, I wanted to improve my uh, plasma shoddy. Okay, now that we're here looking at the plasma shoddy, I definitely want to upgrade this as much as I can. So, rank four of science. Ooh. I actually really want that, though, but I'm yeah, pretty sure I have a level up, and I think that... I can maybe get to rank 4 of science. Let's see. Damn it. It's one level away. Oh, that, that hurts. That, <laughs> that really hurts. That's fine. I can just... I'll just leave the plasma shoddy for now. I mean, it still does good damage. But let's work on some of the other things as well. So I'm pretty sure that after I left Vault 88 and I was exploring around a little bit to grab some ammo, I'd come across this Tactical Advanced 44 pistol and... Advance is the best receiver, so obviously I'm going to want to slap that onto my two-shot. So let's just take that off. Oh, yes. Goes from 223 damage to 273. Oh, that is... Oh, that's beautiful. And now, with that, it should be the best that it needs to be at this point. Uh, I think this is I, my ideal 44 pistol, and it's... Oh, looks so good. Now I want to take a look really quick at that Western Revolver, which takes 44 ammo too, so I mean, how can you beat this? But let's, I don't know, let's check out the upgrades. All right, so on the VATS Enhanced Western Revolver, it starts at 124, which isn't bad, but I can get that up to 217 if I had, you know, Gun Nut 4, if I find one, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, and Gunslinger 5, which is actually really interesting, and I mean, it makes sense because this is a pistol, so... Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, I don't have Gunslinger 5 just yet, but I pro I will <laughs> definitely very soon. But the damage goes over to 217, and with the two-shot, it's better. But at the same time, the improved VATS hits chance and 25% less action point cost, it could be like the Deliverer. So I'll have to think about that. But obviously, for now, I'm not going to use it because, you know, I don't have anything else for it, and I can't really make anything because I need Gun Nut, so... This is, unfortunately, I'm going to shelve this for now. And so this brings me back to the new thing that I was talking about earlier, that one of the things I had gotten when I was out. Now, I have this cool sniper rifle. The damage isn't that great, but it's good from really long range, and I need that if I'm trying to do a little bit of sniping, and plus it's got its recon scope. Now, I'm not specialized in rifles because Raylan here is mostly a pistol user, and that's kind of a problem because I would like to have some long range accuracy, for sniping and, you know, having the recon scope from afar. I don't want to put that on a weapon if I'm going to use it at close range. It's, no, it's not, that's not a very good thing to have. But I have found that there can be a compromise here, which is why when I was out at Diamond City, I picked up something new. Say hello to Old Faithful. This is a weapon that you can buy at Arturo's for, I believe, uh, about 2,000 or so caps, uh, considering my, like, lack of barter skills, but with high charisma. And the legendary effect was it does double damage if the target is full health. Now, this is perfect for instant sniping weapons, you know, for if you're just trying to get the first shot, you know, right out of the gate, which would be good for a sniper. Now, the problem is that it's a pistol, but because <laughs> laser weapons in this game are very versatile, I can 
actually make this a long-range sniping we weapon without taking off the pistol uh, modification. So I can still it can still be a pistol, and I can still get the bonuses from Gunslinger, but I will still have the range that I'd want. So let's see if we can do that really quick. Well, obviously, straight away, let's get this up to the highest damage possible with the overcharge capacitor. And now this is what we're going to want to look at. Um, wait, short barrel X plus. I don't know what that is. That's very new, I would assume. I don't, you know what? Forget about that because that looks garbage. But this is what I want, an improved sniper barrel. So it gives me exceptional damage and superior range, worse recoil and poor ammo capacity and hit fire accuracy. That's fine because this is just going to be from long range sniping. So let's just build that. Excellent. Oh, it's taking up a lot of my materials though is a problem. And, okay, if I switch the stocks, obviously that's going to switch um, it to being a rifle, but I can I can get a sharpshooter's grip for the best possible uh, recoil and hitfire accuracy. The only problem is, does it really matter that much? Um, not particularly, and I'm kind of running low on materials. You know what? Screw it. Why not? Build that. Sight. Now, as I was saying, I for uh, I was happy that I had a recon scope. The problem is that I don't have a recon scope for this yet, so I'm going to have to look and see if I can uh, get some fiber optics because I'm running low on that stuff. And with fiber optics, I can build a recon scope, and that's what I desperately need for this gun. Or at least I, I think it's a good idea to put on uh, this gun. So, I don't know, maybe I'll look for those in just a second. Maybe make a quick stop up to Diamond City or see what my man Sheffield here has but let's look at uh, these mods for the muzzle i had to look that up because i'm like whoa what is this the the muzzle yeah okay the muzzle no gotta remember what i'm doing so i'm gonna want something okay superior range and accuracy this um, that's amazing better recoil uh, exceptional recoil reduced range no i think we're just gonna want to make this all into the sniping weapon so let's just attach that mod which apparently i have I mean, <laughs> all right, that works well for me, that's for damn sure. Now, okay, should I? Yeah, I really do want the recon scope immediately, so I'm going to really quick grab that six fiber optics I need from around. And look at that. Just getting out of this menu, it pops up and tells me that the artifact is ready from Jack Cabot from a few episodes back. I'm not going to get into that right away because I don't need that weapon desperately soon. But I will hopefully be trying to get that sometime in the near future. But let's continue on looking for these fiber optics now. Hey, Sheffield. What are you thinking of coming to work? <laughs> you know, he does, we do this every single time. Yes, no. Uh, this is kind of, it's kind of annoying that every time I try to check the shop here with Sheffield, it's always, oh, hey, Sheffield, how about working for me? While he's in the middle of working for me. So I have to actually talk to him twice. I still got a question for you. I'm in town looking for Henry Cook. Oh, hello. You know where I might find him? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think I'd passed by her earlier. I was just not paying attention, but I'm here in Diamond City looking around for some fiber optics. Not going the best, but I run into this woman, and I know who exactly she is. She's looking for Cook, but I'm just going to ask why she's looking for him, because that's kind of an odd thing to, you know, ask out of the blue. Well, why are you looking for him? Fair question. He's my father. I haven't heard from him in a while, so I came to down to check up on him. Okay, well... I mean, all of these are true. I barely know them, haven't seen them, and I wish I could help. I guess I'm, I'm just going to be nice. I wish I could help. I wish I could help you, but I don't know where he is. All right. Thanks. I'll be around. I'd appreciate it if you let me know if you hear anything. Can't I just tell her that we... Damn. Can't I just tell her that we robbed those drug dealers, and he just kind of basically skipped town? Well, actually, you know, who knows where, but whatever. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, for the fiber optics hunt, I think I'm about done. I haven't gotten too many. I don't think I'm going to have enough, but we'll see when we get back to base. Sadly, it looks like I'm just too fiber optics short, even after going around and stealing a few uh, microscopes around Diamond City. Which, speaking of stealing microscopes, I really need to find that bloatfly gland for those people at the Science Center. Because, uh, yeah, that's where I got some of my microscopes. But, uh, oh well. I guess for now, I might as well just go with a long scope, and I'll add on to it later. I mean, for now, yeah, it, long scope, that's fine. I mean, I, okay, wait, how, how much is it going to weigh? Okay, 7.3 if I got the recon scope, and 7.2 with the long scope. 
Okay, and that's now that it's basically all the way up to what I need it to be, minus the long recon scope, compared to the instigating 50, snipe, uh, uh, 50 caliber sniper rifle, it is way less heavy. It's much lighter here. Yeah, 18.9 to 7.2. And it's basically getting the same legendary effect, and it does like twice as much damage. So I'm going to have to put away this one. I will miss it though, it has helped me out a lot in the past, but it's time to cut down on my carry weight as well. Alright, now that the gun crafting is out of the way, there is one last thing I wanted to do before I left, and that's going to take us into what we're going to do this episode. So let's just look at the map really quick, because I have a specific plan of what I want to do. So looking at the map, I put on the marker for going down to the Glowing Sea, which is the entrance here, uh, right here, because I, I really have been wanting to make some progress in the story. Now... The problem is that I don't have any, I guess, areas that are close to the Glowing Sea except, I guess you could say, Fort Hagen, which has got the Fort Hagen sa satellite array, which I need to go to for Automatron. Uh, what was it again? Find the last Robo Brain, I believe. Yeah. And to do both those things, I think I'm going to want to get into some nice X01 power armor that I have here. And I think it's about time that I work on that and get that a little bit better. And by a little bit, I mean a lot better. Okay, so now this is going to be the first time I think I've really done some major work on some power armor. And now let's make it as major as possible. Let's start with the helmet here. Now let's just make it go all the way up to Mark 6, which is the best that the X01 can do. Now, I had made sure I had enough materials by going around and grabbing some things at Diamond City 2, just in case. But if we look over to the right, you can see that uh, it'll not only requires armor to upgrade, but also science. And this is one of the reasons I wanted to get science up as well, so... Let's just put on Mark 6 for everything that I can. And, ooh, Codsworth and Dance are going to love this. That's for damn sure. Ah, yes. While I'm putting on this Mark 6 stuff, unfortunately, the glitch is still there. Where when you're working on power armor, for some reason, it, like, adds all those pieces to your inventory. So it can actually make you go over-encumbered. And then you take damage from the over-encumbrance, which is... <laughs> which is really dumb, but you know what? It's not too big of a deal right now because I'm at full health and, and I'm at base, so I'm not going to be too worried about that. Just not going to dick around when I'm adding all this stuff on because I want to get this done before I die. Anyways, the Mark VI is all on. Now let's get some other mods on. Well, I mean, before I do that, I mean, look at just the amount of damage resistance and stuff I'm getting now. This is, <laughs> as it is right now, this is amazing. All right, so looking over some of the mods... Apparently, I didn't grab enough aluminum, which, okay, fair enough, that's fine. I'll be picking up plenty of stuff with aluminum in it, you know, when I'm on my travels. So for now, I think that this fully Mark VI upgraded power armor will do me just fine. I don't need to add anything special just yet, but I will very soon. All right, let's enter this beauty over here. Oh, wait, what the? Okay, <laughs> that didn't work out too well. Now let's enter it. Had to grab a few fusion cores. Uh, I grabbed uh, uh, some of them that were uh, lower on charge just to get those out of the way as well. And right now I have six. And not all six of those, and yes, dance like that. Uh, not all six of those have full charge, but I mean, it should be plenty for what I'm planning to do. But, oh, this is nice. I feel, <laughs> I feel very safe. I mean, I can still die very easily because it's a survival mode, but I feel much safer than usual. Oh, and yes, I also, as I'd mentioned, I've gotten some ammo, uh... It's like the first time I feel like I've ever done this in Fallout, which kind of, it almost makes you appreciate survival mode more now than actually having to buy ammo. I didn't buy much. I think I only bought like 30 uh, 10 millimeter and fusion cells, but yeah, I mean, buying ammo, who would have thought? All right, now that we're here at Fort Hagen, let's make our way over to the west to the satellite array, but first let's discover this red rocket, which I'm surprised I never did, even though it's, wait, it's called filling station. You know what? Whatever. Let's get out good old Old Faithful that I put on. Oh, <laughs> gun wasn't even showing up there for a second. Yeah, so let's see, because I'm approaching it pretty close now, and let's see how well this can do as a sniping weapon. I mean, it should do much better already than my old sniper. Oh, wrong button. Since uh, I'm actually specializing in pistols. Oh, there's something right there. Uh, no, I'm not going to take that shot. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer and not so low down. All right, there's not really any good angles from lower down, so I got to come pretty close. But let's just start 
taking out all the enemies around here. Um, it's just a turret. Let's just take that out really quick and then back off because I want to keep, you know, in, uh, you know, hidden or caution if I can avoid. Oh, yeah, because uh, strong enemies. But the problem with this the Old Faithful is that it can't take a suppressor since it's a laser weapon. So that's going to not be the best. I mean, I'll have to work around that, but I mean, it's definitely worth it to get rid of that uh, old sniper rifle. Okay, perfect. Back in hidden. Oh, Doom Protectron. Oh, that's cool. That wasn't a... What? Oh, that's not good. That was not a sneak attack. Okay, this is fine. Alright, new and improved two shot. Let's go. Oh my god. Just one shot of that. That is... Ugh. That's beautiful. Let's just... You know what? Let's, let's see. I have... I have my power armor. I have two shot. Let's see how well I can survive. Pretty damn well so far. Oh, it says I have actually proceeded there. I mean, I've kind of already been here, but whatever. I have to enter the hangar. Oh, and just discovered the place too. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I want to actually kill... Ooh, legendary rust devil. I want to kill everybody out here. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I remember Ada was talking about how this place was uh, occupied by... Rust Devil, so I'm not sure what a uh, Robo Brain's doing here, but I guess we'll find out in a second. You know, this seems like overkill on the regular Rust Devils using this, but I mean, I'm ar I've already got it out. This is what I wanted to use it for, though, to one-shot him and grab his legendary, which is an unyielding metal right arm. Oh wait, it looks like it's heavy metal too, because of the damage resistance and energy resistance. Hmm. Alright, uh... It's not terrible. What do I have in my right arm? No, that's... Yeah, that's where I keep my martyr's gear. That's always gonna be better than just having better damage resistance. No way. I'm definitely not taking that off. Oh, this is a neat touch. So, the super mutants usually have gore bags that are basically the same asset. And <laughs> the Rust Devils actually just put kind of robot parts instead of like, you know, having just a bag full of bloody, messy, disgusting human body parts. It's just nice, clean robot parts. I mean, okay, maybe they're not that clean, but still, <laughs> it's, it's nice how they're kind of like super mutants in that regard. All right, so above the door that I need to go into, I kind of made my way around and there's this terminal over here. So let's see what's on it. Lookout duty. Rust Devils, with all these mechanist bots on the loose, we can't afford to skimp on lookouts. For all we know, the bastard is planning a raid to take all our bots tomorrow. No lock shot, this doesn't mean you can set three bots to patrol the area and take a nap. I want at least two living, breathing humans patrolling the perimeter at all times. And let me know immediately if you see any strange bot come up the hill. Ivy. Well, didn't do them that much good. Now security door control. Open door. So, <laughs> apparently the door below me was locked. I should have checked that first. But you know what? It's good that I explored. And I'm actually basically done exploring. So, let's just head into the hangar. Okay, find the Robo Brain is now my objective. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'm actually really excited to... Ooh, no. I keep trying to press crouch with circle. Why am I doing that? Yeah, I'm actually really excited to see what's going on in here. So, let's... Uh... Just take it slow at first, because I don't know how hard this is going to be. I mean, I have the power armor, and I have really good guns, but again, this is survival mode, and I can get just taken out in an instant, which, speaking of that, don't go over tripwires, but they're very obvious. And is this the... Ooh. Assault Tron Totem. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, wait, really? Gives me nothing? And I'm tired. Whoa, okay, back up, back up, back up. Don't want them to see me just yet. Ah, you know what? Screw it. It's fine. Nice sneak attack. Sneak it. That wasn't even a sneak, but it still killed him. Oh, old faithful, you beautiful bastard. Oh, okay, I've been hearing. Oh, what the hell? Why? Why is it so bright? What? Fallout 4. Come, come on, work with me here. But yeah, I've been hearing like people, and it seems like they're close by. But apparently, I guess it's like the behind these things over here, or maybe up above. But I think I'm fine to keep proceeding on. Ooh, there's a. Uh, Proper, like, medical clinic and stuff back here. I'm gonna loot the hell out of that, of course. Oh, and beds. Oh. Oh. And, oh, they're actually proper beds, too, so... I could get... I could actually take care of my tiredness right now and drop a save. Um... Yeah, fuck it. Let's see if I can do it. 
All right, exit the power armor. Come on, come on. I, I probably the enemies are too close right now. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Okay, let's just sleep for eight hours in an enemy base. It seems like the best use of my time. I feel ill, weakness. Oh god. <sighs> well, luckily I have some antibiotics. Okay, now with everything taken care of, let's get back to killing everything in here. Also, I, would, I had noticed uh, when I was sleeping that the date today in Fallout is the 24th of December. And if you go to Diamond City on uh, Christmas Day itself, there's like a lot of cool Christmas lights and, you know, decorations and all that stuff up. It's really neat, but unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to, get to show it just because of, you know, I'm not going back to Diamond City anytime soon. But yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's a, I guess it's a neat touch. I think they also do Halloween as well. Oh, overdue book, nice. I want to grab those. Yeah, they also have one for Halloween, which, again, you know, I obviously missed, but it's a really neat touch. And if you go there, just I think some of the guards even say, like, you know, Merry Christmas and all that. So, yeah, you know, if you're feeling a little bit festive, head over on, on over to Diamond City. Oh, wow, legendary Mr. Handy Destroyer. Oh, no, I am in danger. That's not good. Can close this door. Can you open doors? Oh, yes, they can. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Huh. Wait, what? <laughs> Did... I think I found out the best place to hide in here. Just hide behind this thing, and apparently... They... Wow, okay, I was about to say they can't attack you. But that's if they're only me melee only. So, the other guys who have actual ranged weapons can still shoot you. Okay, there's a Mr. Handy Wrecker. Wow, the sway on this is pretty bad. Uh, and I leveled up. Nice. 40. Oh! Oh, yes, I'm level 41. That means I can take Science 4 immediately. All right, let's do that. I definitely don't want to forget about this. Yes. That's... Okay, that's definitely priority. Now, what... Hmm, I, I saved another level up. I don't know why, but what am I going to use for this next level? Oh. <laughs> oh, why did I save it when Lone Wanderer... Rank 3, which what used to be the final rank, but I believe Far Harbor or Nuke World added in uh, rank 4 of it, which is good and it's not that important, but when adventuring without a companion, you do 25% more damage. Just an instant buff to my damage. Let's... Okay, no, I have to take this. Now let's see what if it's actually going to show it. Um, 273. I thought I was doing 273 before. You know what? I don't know, but... Basically, an extra 25% damage now that I'm just running around alone. This is... Oh, man. I was going to be so much more powerful now. All right. There's a security gate here that I can't get through. And it looks like a... a pretty full set. No, wait. I think the... Wait, no. It's hard to tell because of the light shining. But, yeah. It kind of looks like a maybe even a full set of X01 armor here. So, that's a nice place to find it. I think I'm going to have to go the long way around since I don't have expert lockpicking, which is fine with me because there's always ways around Fallout 4 if you don't have lockpicking, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, is this the legendary? Uh, let's see. I Was it? I don't know. I mean, if he explodes, then it was a legendary. That was the legendary. <laughs> All right, Duelist Operator's Heavy Right Brace. Uh, this is definitely a new thing from the DLC. 10% chance to disarm melee attacker on hit. The, okay, so the armor piece itself is not too bad, but I do not like Duelists. I don't think it's that good of a legendary prefix. Because, I mean, okay, disarming people, like, usually people that are charging you are either, like, you know, ghouls or stuff that... You can't really knock weapons out of their hands because they're just, they usually use their hand, like, uh, their fists or whatever, or, like, if it's, uh, Mr. Handy, like, they'll use their buzzsaw. But for, like, you know, if, like, a raider with a sledgehammer comes up to you, it's not going to do much damage anyway, so that's kind of a shitty <laughs> prefix, honestly. Okay, I'm on the other side of this gate where the power armor was. Actually, there's, like, a tiny room in here, and I can't access that, but that's fine. I don't need the X01 armor because I'm already wearing it because i knew i was gonna need it if i was gonna go here but especially because after you know right after this i'm heading to the glowing sea i'm gonna want all that <laughs> damage and rad and energy protection for sure now this room oh wow this this room looks real cool but i can tell there's gonna be a big fight uh servo mech i bought not hostile okay let's just slowly make our way through this room 
What? Oh, okay, so the robot brain isn't actually in the robot itself. Okay. That, yeah, no, I, I think I knew about that. Yeah, that the last robot brain, because uh, I, like I said, I'd known a bit about this DLC yeah, from, you know, just watching uh, people play it and all that, but I tried to avoid most of it. But yeah, this is, uh, the final robot brain is actually, I can talk to them surprisingly. So let's talk to Jezebel. Uh, okay, come on, don't move that too much. Let's just be sarcastic. Just a rust devil wearing a clever disguise. Please, don't insult my intelligence. Why don't you just tell me why you're here? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Bothering to have this conversation. Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. Was it the X01 armor? Is that the one that gave it away? Some chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. Okay, I'm listening. How refreshing. Then allow me to explain. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm going to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? I mean, this... <laughs> yeah, double-cross me. Yeah, we're warned about robo-brain, so how do I know I can actually trust you? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? You don't. Oh, God. Just going to have to trust me. Oh, persuasion, you son of a bitch. Alright, fine. You know what? If the, she tries to double-cross me, I'll just kill her, so I'm not worried about it. Our, okay, there. I was like, what? He's just gonna stop right there? Just you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Oh, trust me, I'm not worried about that. I literally slept eight hours here. But okay, um... So, do I just... Oh, yeah, take her. Oh. My. God. <laughs> okay. Um... Oops. I, sh I should have clocked that guy there. Alright, let's get two shot out and see. Oh, oh, 350. Oh, Ooh, is that the 25% damage now? Ooh, yes. Oh, God. Oh, okay, Ahab. Um, wow, he's looking remarkably weak. Only problem is he's going to explode. Okay, so shoot. Run, 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 run. Well, come on. Let's not wait around for more horrifying monstrosities. No, you know what? Let's wait around for them because, God, I am really powerful now. Oh, this is nice. I, I am such a glass cannon. It's beautiful. The one thing I like in games, it's being a ridiculous glass cannon. Because I don't like games where, you know, you have to fight enemies and you're in there like super bullet spongy and yet they can kill you in like one hit. I think it's fair if they're going to kill you in one hit, then you can kill them in one hit. Now let's see what Ahab on, had on him. More fusion cores, which by the way, I've been picking up a lot of them. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to be do this. I'm picking up a lot of them, so maybe I shouldn't have brought so many because I would have gotten more. But you know what? It's fine. Okay, flame refuel, sentry Ahab's helm. Ooh, I can put that on my own robot when I make one. And that, and you know what? Shut the hell up. He has been doing that dumb message this whole time. Ooh, wait, biometric scanner, I need that. Oh, what is this here? Rust Devil Workshop Terminal. Does it have something to do uh, with... No, I thought it doesn't have something to do with Ahab. Let's just see what they have going on here. Brain. The brain won't talk. Make it. Smash the glass and see your hand in it if you have to. The brains are obviously the ones calling the shots. There has to be some signal hidden inside that slimy ball of snot we can use to lead us to the mechanist. You have until tomorrow. That's when I get someone else to do it. You won't be happy if I get someone else. Just do it. Ivy. Okay, so they'd taken the robo-brain, and they were smart enough to figure out that the robo-brain 
was the one that were calling the shots and that they had they, they could use their own brain to trace the origin of where the mechanist was hiding so these guys are actually a much better than the average raider as i mean just not just you know damage wise but you know intelligence wise okay so we have the brain now just destroy the ibot i am sick of hearing those incessant messages about the mechanist <laughs> you know me and this ivy can get along bring peace to the commonwealth what a load of crap anyway i, I have some ideas on how we can make some sick mods for the thing i want it disassembled by tomorrow all right and what's schematics I don't know much about computers and code and whatnot, but I'm pretty sure this is gibberish. Alright, I really should have noticed this sooner, because I mean, look at this. This is some heavy metal altar shit. This is really cool. And they have was right here at the top of it. Okay, this this is kind of badass. Oh, man. Okay, the, the Rust Devils, they kind of are assholes because they're always trying to kill me, but they have a cool sense of style. Alright, let's get the hell out of here now. Uh, yeah, let's go a different way. Ooh. Scared me a little bit. Ah, oh, God, is he gonna talk the whole time? All right, laser tripwire disarm. Oh, and this is a good uh, source of fiber optics and crystal. So I'm glad I'm seeing some of these. And oh, how far does this go? Yeah, okay, it didn't reach me from there. Grab the last one. And yeah, I think we're good. Uh, actually, this should give me enough fiber optics to make that long recon scope now for Old Faithful. Well, there's a bed again right here, but I'm pretty sure I, there was a. Is that a turret or something? No, okay, never mind. It's just more hanging stuff. So yeah, um, I'm gonna. I'm just trying to be really safe. So I'm just gonna grab a quick hour on this bed just to save, so I don't lose this progress. All right, now we can continue getting the hell out of here. Uh, do I need fuses? I can't even remember. Oh, I need TV dinner tray. That's for sure. Uh, I think I probably would have marked it. Okay, turn off the headlamp and take this fusion core. I'm ten now. Wow, really should just. You know, not have brought this many. Ooh, a quantum. I could always do with more quantum. And, uh, oh, damn it, I'm over encumbered. Oh, wait, you know what? Let's just check out this this Rust Devil gaming terminal first. I wonder, would they add, like, a new Pip Boy game? Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh, yeah, they do. Eject holotape automatron. Uh, let's take that. Yoink, that's mine. Okay, from Ivy, read this. Whoever reset this course, I will find you, and I will have your head. Until one of you owns up to it, the terminal is off limits. Well, I'm stealing your game. Scores. Uh, AAA. <laughs> nice. Okay. I can see how, why she would be so mad. All the scores are gone. It's just AAA. Uh, bowl, why not? Just trying to get, like, stuff for materials here. I, I definitely need just, like, a lot more aluminum. So, and I think, I'm pretty sure I have aluminum tagged. So I'm just going to make sure I only grab the stuff I really need. Oh, and there's enemies. All right, let me just back around the corner for a second. All right, can I shoot through here? No, I can't. And oh my god. Well, this might be my end, but let's get as many vat shots as I can. Hopefully I can kill this demon before... Yep, before the headlamp thing goes. Okay, that's fine. Let's. We're just in a straight-out slugging match with these guys. But I am powerful enough at this point that I shouldn't be worried. Pretty much. Actually, you know, it wouldn't have been safer if I just, you know, left through the same door I came in, now that I think about it. I don't know. I need to drop some things. I Okay, the oh, I shouldn't have gotten, uh, brought this many fusion cores. I'm going to be picking up so damn many. problem with my weight situation is, is I'm trying to carry a lot of junk back because I need a lot more aluminum if I'm going to be doing a lot more power armor crafting. So, I really just got to be very, very careful with what I pick up. And, ooh. Fort Hagen Hangar Lockdown Terminal. What does this lead me into? Just skip that really quick because I didn't care. Uh, does this anything good? Nope. And there really isn't anything in here other than if you want to do some crafting on your power armor. But I've already passed a few of those, I think. Or at least one of them was in that one room with the XO1 armor in this area. I don't know. I, I never really thought about, like, you know, doing a lot of crafting during the middle of a fight. But then again, I think I did do a little bit of power armor maintenance, at least, when I was fighting Slag back at the uh, Saugus Ironworks. So I guess that's, I guess that would be, like, the primary reason of having it. Oh, hello here. Ivy's Terminal. Yeah, let's learn. Uh, wait, really? No way. What? Oh, maybe because of this? Oh, yeah, yeah, I maybe you have to be sitting down. Okay, that's so weird. I mean, you can active, you can access some terminals in Power Armor, but others you can't. I really don't get it, but let's see. Are you, am I actually going to sit down? I don't, I can't really tell, but let's see what Ivy's all about. Mechanist. Who is this Mechanist? 
His bloody robots are everywhere, every junkyard, every factory, even that robotics pioneer park. How are we supposed to find parts for our own bots with this loser cutting us off at the pass? It's not like we don't fight back, but geez, we kill a group of his bots and ten more appear. Does this guy just pump them out at some assembly line somewhere? Finding him is our top priority, because what else are we going to do while he keeps getting in our way? We will find him, make a bot from his bones, and force it to take out our trash. Alright, Pioneer Park Disaster. Pioneer Park, where- I don't know where that is. A map up- ooh, perfect, excuse me, a uh, place to go to. It was a routine scrapping mission. We were gonna go in, take the four Protectron bots, and get out. No big deal. Yeah, recon on the location warned us of a Deathclaw in the area. Whatever. With our bots, a Deathclaw might as well be a mole rat. No big. We even managed to sneak in and get to the bots without waking the monster. While we were trying to get the bots out of there, a horde of mechanist boss showed up and started fighting us to get at our loot. Because the universe is six sense humor, this woke Deathclaw. So then we had to deal with that, too. In short, we lost three men and two of our bots were pulverized, but we did manage to nab one of the mechanist's robo-brains alive. Okay, and that'd be Jezebel. I'm hoping it will lead me to the bastard that keeps messing with our shit. Okay, the pine... Oh, I think I know this place. I think... Yeah, I think the place on the edge of the glowing sea, and there's like four protectrons, each like of the certain variety, like the firefighter, the medical, the police, and the regular. Or I think one of them is construction? I can't remember. But... And there's a death claw there. Yeah, I remember this place. Does that mean it's cleared out because the Meganus DLC is installed? I don't know. Ahab for the last one. The death claw that killed my men? I stuck his skull on a bot. Not just any bot, but the ultimate death bot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Ahab will be at my side when I find the Meganus and get revenge for what he did to the Rust Devils. I just hope we don't pulverize his bones in the process. I want to use them to make something fun. Oh, and that's the, the helm I got, too. From the, yeah, from, well, the, what is it called? The sentry bot, it was Ahab's helm, which is basically just a death claw skull, which is really badass, and I'm definitely going to put that on my uh, robot when I make one. All right, let's take care of the rest of this guys in these, uh, this area. Um, why isn't this, oh, okay, apparently I wasn't close enough. Oh, it's legendary. Okay, let's not waste any 10 millimeter ammo and just go straight for the kill with two shot. Oh, okay, that's bullshit. He's shooting through the wall. That's not even fair. Uh, yeah, stick your head out. You are about to lose it, my friend. Hoo-hoo. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Uh, no. I mean, I was about to say, oh, that's smart. You know, having it next to something that's going to explode. It didn't actually have that big of an explosion. But, I mean, I am kind of almost dead anyways. But, uh... I guess it's because I was over-encumbered. I should have just focused on that first. But, you know what? Let's... I'm just going to drop a few fusion cells. I mean, fusion cores. Just, you know what? Let's get this weight down. Now I'm down to eight fusion cores, and I got myself some good eating going on. So now that health is just going to tick back up slowly. Also clears out some weight as well. Now, where was the legendary? It's like, yep, yeah, right over here. What do you got for me? A chameleon? Oh, God. This is the uh, the one, the invisibility one, which is awful. Oh, well. Oh, hello there. Bowling ball and bowling pins? All right, you know, let's line this up. And let me get a weaker gun out, because I want to see if I can use the physics of this game to actually get a strike. Come on. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. I'll take one more shot. Get a spare, at least. Yep. All right, got a spare. <laughs> it's, like, really cool that you can actually use the physics in this game, and they work, I guess, somewhat realistically. I mean, it's Fallout, so, I mean, I wouldn't say realistic, but, I mean, the physics aren't too bad in this game. We should be get ooh, microscope, always take microscopes. Yeah, I think we should be near the end, because this place didn't seem like it was too big, and I've already gone through a big portion of it and killed, like, everything around here. Oh, wait, except this guy. Now he's dead. Based on my limited experience oh, you, okay. I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. I really don't like Jezebel. Okay, more of tra- Oh, head off. Jeez, Jezebel. You rip her head off. It's only fair. Well, I mean, I can't argue with the logic. Alright, I got two shot out. Let's sneak in here as well as you can in power armor. Okay. Ooh, okay, there she is. Cutting her own power armor, which is what I figured. Scanners 
and <laughs> oh, okay, wait, I, I, uh, I'm sorry, I was, ah, that's not good, I was being too cocky, I was like, oh, wow, this is, this went remarkably easy, I'm way too good at this game, nope, Sotron Succubus, granted, it barely did anything to me, but, <laughs> I guess I'm just not used to having this much damage now that I have the power armor on, oh, hello there, Tesla T60, Okay, increase energy damage, that's nice. Okay, so this is all unique. Oh, that is really cool. And, ooh, a Tesla rifle. Ooh. Powers an electrical discharge that arcs between targets. Oh, that's cool. But I'm probably never going to use this just because it's not the kind of gun Raylan would use. Uh, is this a pistol? I mean, probably not. I don't know. Well, I'm right near a weapons workbench here in the room that I killed Ivy, so... Might as well look at this right now. I mean, I'm trying to get some weight down, so I'm just kind of looking at things, but... Uh, wow, this... Holy hell, this goes up a lot. Uh, charging shotgun, charging lob. Okay, so this would release electrified traps, and this is hold fire charge, release shotgun blast. I mean, the damage is ridiculous. I mean, it's got to be affected by Gunslinger, because... I mean, unless it's just that good, which in, in which case, that's amazing. Yeah, hold fire to charge for that, and improve rate of fire. Fear damage and range, this would be like an automatic. Yeah. Well, I mean, it literally says... Damn, it says automatic. Why don't I read? Yeah, okay. Um, I'll think about it. I don't know if I'm ever going to really use it. I mean, it's cool. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let me know if you think that this is a weapon that would be kind of cool to at least try out or use. Or if, you, if it's actually any good. All right, now let's get out of here. It took a little bit of going around my inventory and I uh <laughs> I realize now that uh wait what's fine here I have some fat man and some mini nukes yeah, I realize now that I have way too much stuff because like, there's a lot more things in here than I would have thought and oh god there's more Ooh, salvage a soltron head I charge by repeatedly reloading the more charges the higher the damage irradiates user so this is a gun which is hilarious <laughs> and okay wait wait so, it's like a laser musket, but it irradiates you? I mean, it's cool. I'm definitely going to take it. And I have just enough to take it. So that's good. And, uh, Soltron Blade, Mr. Handy Buzz Blade, and all that. Uh, let me just check these out. Okay, so, 62 damage. Uh, that's not too bad. Uh, 18 damage, but very fast. Okay, so this would be like a, um, you know, like a ripper or something. Um, these are cool and all, but I'm, there's no point in taking them because I don't have the carry capacity, one, and I'm never going to really use them, so why would I bother? I don't even remember seeing this uh, security gate when I was first coming in here. Uh, oh, probably because I literally just l went straight right, like, uh, I don't know, I'm, usually when, I, when it comes to directions, I usually just go right without even thinking. I don't know, maybe that's just different for some people, but... For some reason, right is the direction that I usually just kind of instantly turn to if there's like a, uh, you know, a choice between left or right. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here, and I need to go straight back and drop off a lot of stuff at base. Oh, speak to Ada. Oh, oh my god, there's more enemies. Yeah, no, it, my job definitely is not done. Alright, please take you on one hit. Yes, and oh god damn it, you're a legendary, aren't you? you can probably, hopefully you don't have anything too good. Uh, safe crackers leather left leg oh that's awful but i'm still taking it anyways i can't help myself all right there's the vertebrate now i mean right now i'm under the effect of grilled radstock and alcohol and even with the grilled radstock and alcohol i can barely carry all the stuff i have so i definitely need to go back to base but i've also noticed that i need more vertebrate signaling grenades because I, I have yeah this is my last one well i mean no the i, I should say i only have one more so, I think I'm gonna drop the stuff off, <laughs> go to um, the Brotherhood, grab some more signal grenades, and then just come back here and go down to the Glowing Sea, and continue on from there. Alright, so for some reason, <laughs> all of my allies are trying to attack the Brotherhood. I don't know why, but they are, because I had seen Codsworth and Ada out, and I'm like, oh wow, look, they're coming out to greet me, which also, why are they coming out to greet me? But apparently, the robots turn to pick a fight with the Brotherhood, which, granted, okay, that's kind of a thing that maybe robots should go against, but I really don't want to anger either of them, so I'm just going to pretend like this isn't happening, and yeah, <laughs> drop off my stuff, go to sleep, and head on over to the Brotherhood. Hopefully, they're not angry. 
Well, what? Oh. Damn. Done in by Paladin Dance. You know, that's... I was thinking, oh, what? you know, it'd be good to have Dance at your settlement. Well, apparently he's the one that ended my life. Now that I'm back again... <laughs> that took a while, but let's just put on the long recon scope before I forget. All right, that's all I really need to do here. Really, dude? Really? Get the hell out. Apparently there's a fight going on somewhere here, and... I step out of my power for just like one second, and this guy gets in. Actually, you know what? This reminds me. Since I'm, I said I only need to do one thing, I did want to do the scatter gun now that my science is up to the max. So, do do do, overcharge capacitor, and that's the, yeah, that's the highest damage. That's amazing. And is there anything else I can put on? Um, improve. I guess improved splitter would be the best. It's not, it's not that much better, but sure, why not? What else I got here? I don't need sights on this. Yep, okay. <laughs> That's basically it. Please tell me that everybody is done fighting now. Wait, what? Where'd, where'd my power armor go? Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, there it is. No, that's dance. That is actually... Da Where did my power armor go? Okay, is that my power armor? Yes, it is. So, <laughs> I had to... I was going around. Basically, we're like 75 meters away from base. Get... I need you to get out of here. Yeah, get the hell out of my power armor. So they chased down, like, lots of super mutants here, and I just killed a legendary, so I'm gonna go and grab the legendary, but I wanted to make sure I got my power armor back, just in case, you know, if I dropped the save or whatever, and then all of a sudden they, like, despawn, because, you know, this is Fallout 4. But I guess you, I guess I've learned a valuable lesson, is don't leave the keys in the ignition. Okay, here he is. Uh, ooh, quick draw 44. Cost 20% less action points. Um, no, that's, no, I got two shot, and I also have the, you know, the Western Revolver for less action points if I ever decided to go down that route, so, yeah, I don't know, I, I mean, well, plus the accuracy, too, I mean, Quick Draw is, yeah, no, 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 Quick Draw is fine, oh, Chestnut Hill res Reservoir, I was just running around trying to get, you know, trying to get back to base, but whatever, ooh, Quantum, but yeah, I don't know, I just, I don't think quick draw is uh, that great considering the other weapons I have, so I'll just probably just, you know, display it as usual. All right, so I've been recording for an absolutely stupid amount of time, so I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to talk to Ada and end it off here for today because I, I honestly don't know how much of this footage I'm even going to use. Like, I, it has been, it's, I've got to been, like, recording for, like, two to three hours at this point. I mean, it, it, or maybe even more, I don't know. <laughs> Oh God, I've lost just, you know, having to go back and fi get materials and, and dying and, oh, it hasn't been the best, but you know what? It's fine. This is survival mode. It just, it's annoying because I need to be able to realize like how long a video is going to be because I don't want to really make a video too long, but then I also need to kind of worry about like how much, or I, I should say, I guess I got to be focused on how much footage I'm actually going to use. So I need to be, I guess, aware of you know, how much I'm going to cut out, you know, kind of like trying to roughly estimate it in my head. So I think I have a good amount of footage right now. So let's just end it off by turning this into eight, uh, not turning it into the mutt fruit or the mute fruit. I'm sorry. No, God damn. Wh why does Ada always hanging around my garden? Here you go, Ada. I'm going to go into first person now while I do this. I'll need that head back when you're done. Oh, right. Jezebel. I forgot she's still with me. Here you go, Ada. The final radar. <sighs> I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Uh, Besides, what did she say? ...are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. Uh, more info about rope brains. Yeah, sure. Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Yeah, no kidding. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, let's just say we still need it. I believe it can help us access the mechanist's facility. Of course. I think I had to build a body for her. Yeah. Would not only 
I built out the shittiest body possible in a second. With secured against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Damn. You know, you, you know what? It's fine. You're you're being good. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Everyone oh, not wait, dance really? Mr. I hate robots. Well, I mean, he hates like synths, but I mean, this robot's got its own AI, so he should hate it too, because you know the Brotherhood. Uh, no, that'd be dumb. You're wait. I think that's a speech check. Uh, let's see if I can make that. Think that way. Your personality. Codsworth loved that dance like that. Creatively. That means I. I thought it made it past it. You know, I <laughs> I should have enough charisma to pass like you know checks that I that are just yellow. God. All right. I, I I've probably come to the realization that I got to stop being lazy and just actually just back out of dialogue and put on my stuff, even if it's just a yellow speech check because. God, those are so easy to fail, apparently. All right, um, yeah, new automatron. You lack their... Well, we can't make one, but that's fine. Uh, wow, I, I, okay, so I tag, wait, did I tag all the items for search? Well, I mean, I'm looking at this again, and if I just press X, I mean, I assume it does. So, okay, I mean, I, I, mean, I wasn't going to finish up this, uh, DLC yet anyways because like I said I just want to get to the glowing sea uh, next episode because I've been I've been really wanting to make progress with that but anyways I think that is more than enough for one episode and as you can see I built a new magazine rack because I filled up these two racks so now there's I'm on my third magazine rack with magazines and uh, also bobbleheads more bobbleheads I wonder if I get all of them I mean I could technically if I wanted to but I don't know and I got a I made myself a uh, vault tech bed so it looks very nice, and it's even got a blanket, which it's weird that no other beds in this game actually give you a blanket. But anyways, so like I was saying, that's more than enough for this episode. Next time on Fallout 4 Survival Mode, you're going to be finally continuing on with the main story. Finally. And this time, there's nothing that's going to get me distracted. Okay, I lied. There probably will be, but I will definitely try to make it there. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.